The Hilux G is the mid-range variant of the Hilux lineup. While the top-of-the-line variants are usually the ones that you find in commercials, it is the mid-range variants that people mostly buy. And without all the high-tech features of the top-of-the-line variants, the playing field is more or less even. In this video, we'll check out the Hilux G, we'll do a walk around, and we'll try to compare it to the Hilux Conquest. So is it worth your money? Let's find out! <laughs> The Hilux G looks quite different from the Conquest variants, especially at the front. The shape of the headlights is different. The G variant doesn't have the faux air vents at the bottom of the headlights. And as a result, the headlights of the G look bigger and they look less squinty. The headlights of the G are halogens, while on the Conquest, their LEDs. Both the G and the Conquest though come with automatic headlamps. The Hilux G has a different grille. On the Conquest, the grille extends all the way to the bottom of the bumper. On the Hilux G, it stops halfway through. It looks like the G also has a completely different bumper. So it seems like almost all the panels at the front are different. Like the new Conquest though, the new G also gets a shorter front overhang, which I think makes it look more macho compared to the pre facelift variants. When you look at it from the side, you see another major difference. The Hilux G doesn't have the fender flares of the Conquest. The G also gets smaller 17 inch wheels compared to the Conquest's 18s. And the G gets a bit more chrome. It has chrome side mirrors, chrome door handles, and it has a chrome tailgate opener. The tailgate of the G is not dampened. It doesn't have tailgate assist, unlike the Conquest. So it takes a lot more effort to close the tailgate of the G. Now that may not be a problem for your average dude, but I think a lot of girls will have problems lifting this up. It is quite heavy. This particular display unit doesn't come with a bed liner, but talk to Toyota and you could probably have a bed liner installed. So here's the new Hilux G next to the new Conquest. And here's the new Hilux G next to the pre facelift Hilux G. While it may not look as rugged as the new Conquest, I think it's still a better looking pickup than the outgoing model. The interior of the G looks almost the same as the Conquest variants, which are significantly more expensive. The steering wheel seems to be leather wrapped, but it's pretty firm. It doesn't have much padding, but it's a nice looking steering wheel. And you have buttons on the steering wheel for your infotainment screen. So the most significant difference would be the infotainment screen. On the Conquest variants, you get an 8-inch OEM screen 
while on the G variant you get this um, 7 inch screen which looks aftermarket instead of the brushed aluminum trim on the Conquest you get this silver trim instead the seats are covered in the same fabric as the Conquest variants for fabric seats they look pretty good they have a pretty nice texture and they don't feel cheap both front seats have manual adjustment you do get some leather on the interior uh, you, you get leather covered armrests like on the conquest almost everything is made of hard plastic also like the conquest you get these two glove boxes uh, the one at the top has an air cut vent for cooling your drinks um, the glove box at the bottom is not dampened like on the Conquest. Okay, so here at the back seat you have plenty of legroom. The front seat is adjusted to my height. Um, you don't get toys here. No air condens, no 12 volt outlets, and no USB ports. You have a Santa armrest with two cup holders. So like on the Conquest, you have this handlebar, but it doesn't fold like on most other pickups. And it's pretty close to my head. The interior leans more towards durable than luxurious. But for a pickup, especially one in this price segment, that is expected. And maybe even preferable for some people. The dashboard may be made of hard plastics, but the design is quite visually pleasing. It looks modern and it looks streamlined. Features The spec sheet of the Hilux G is competitive for this segment. It's not particularly high tech, but it doesn't lag too far behind the competition either. It has automatic headlamps, it has a 7 inch screen with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Unlike the Conquest, it doesn't come with reverse sensors and a reverse camera. The Hilux G uses Toyota's 2.4 liter 2GD FTV engine. It's the same engine as the previous model. The 2.8 liter engine of the Hilux Conquest 4x4 has received a pretty significant power upgrade, but the 2.4 liter still has about the same power. Both engines are still made to the same 6 speed transmission. The new Hilux has a new steering system. It is still hydraulic but it has variable flow, so it can vary the resistance depending on your speed. At parking lot speeds, it is lighter, but once you get up to highway speeds, you get a bit more resistance. The pre facelift Hilux had one of the harshest rides in its class. Toyota fixed that on the new Hilux. It has longer leaf springs, it has retuned shocks and spring rates, so supposedly it rides better than the previous Hilux. Like the previous Hilux though, it still has drum brakes at the back. At 1.295 million pesos, the G variant is a pretty good value proposition for a Toyota. It's not significantly more expensive than its competitors. And even with a significant price difference, the interior looks almost the same as the more expensive Conquest variants. Same quality of fabric on the seats, and the same plastic on the dashboard. You do get a nicer screen on the Conquest, but it's only an inch larger. The G variant doesn't have a reverse camera like the Conquest variants. But you can have an aftermarket camera installed. For a lot of buyers, the Hilux has a feature that is very important. It's a feature that's over 80 years old and has built up quite a solid reputation over that span of time. And that feature is this right here. 
Vitriota badge.